Can we just put a side on this easily? Alright, we're not here to f*** spiders. Alright, we just need one more PMT kill. We've got a couple good mags. One PMT and a couple of scars and we're done. Hey, Pess, any advice to get rid of, to get rid or calm down the sense of fight or flight? There's two things you should do. Go and practice factory a lot. That will like warm you up a bit. If you've got arena, it's probably a good way to actually get used to fighting more. And then the other thing you should do is when you're in a, a map, say like customs or whatever, whatever you pick a map, whatever one you like fighting on PVP, and then just start running to the gunshots. You hear a gunshot, you run in that direction. Uh, and you're not trying to get quest done in that during the raids. You're literally just in there to PVP. And if you practice running towards the gunfights and getting used to being in combat, you'll be surprised how much more fights you'll win than constantly trying to avoid them. We need to get this chumming task done and then we need to go farm all those items for the generator level three. We, I would like to get those items today. That'd be good. That's a good objective for today. Have them all ready to go. Like PSUs, need some metal parts. I think it was a spark plug. And then literally all we need is a lead X and we'll have pretty much everything up to Bitcoin farm. Imagine just getting Bitcoin farm on hardcore. Scavs. Decontamination is done. That's a player, right? Yes. 
Showing's done. Oh, finally. Ram. One more ram. Need PSUs. MP5, not UMP. Cool. Take that. Just too much. What don't I need? Caps. Don't need the shotgun ammo. Laser match. Yucky. Chip you on crate. The doors open. Okay. That ain't cool.
What don't I really need? I can't remember needing sodium for anything. I do need the metal parts. I think we're done with helixes. That goes up there. If I wanted to, how much is that? Five? That's actually not bad. Right, we can make this work. Oh, we could even go one step further. All right, we just SJ6 now and run. Oh, that's wonderful. Shot out of Emicon. Is he on XR? Thanks for seven months. The car battery there. I don't think we need any more. I think we've done them all. This next bit's going to be a little bit scary. I've got a feeling I won't be keeping the UMP. That scav's a good thing. Oh, 
What's his helmet like? Class three. The SJ6 is going to run out. The Magnums are nice. Hmm. It, look. Magnums are nice, but... I would like to hold on to the AKM. I think we're done with helixes and nixors, so we don't need them. I think we're done with corrugated hoses too. It'd be nice to take some more ammo, but do I care about the Tetrises? Not really, it's just money, but. Let's get out of here. Bag the tri Triton. But I'm so overweight already, bro.
Uh, Zach Speedy live. Thanks to the prompt. Big raid. That was a big raid. Decontamination is done. We got the PMC kills for chumming. I needed one kill. I get four. Can someone explain? Can someone explain? I just need to get one more kill. Four kills. Because I went in geared. <laughs> Makes the biggest difference. Lore of Tarkov. Legit, yeah. Oh, I got plenty of room in the stash. Isn't that how Tarkov works? It's exactly how Tarkov works. I'm new to this game and I have a scab box full. How do I know what items to keep and what to sell? If you're new to the game, my, my, my suggestion is um, go to the hideout, see what items you need for the hideout, keep those ones, and whatever you need immediately for a quest. Outside of that, you can just sell it all. If you got, want to wait till flea, sell it on flea, but um, yeah, you can just sell it all. And then as you do finish your first playthrough, you'll start learning what you need and what you don't but i wouldn't stress about it just when you're first starting out you're more than likely not going to get through all the content on your first playthrough on your first one i actually did really good then um not just like in the finishing the quest but some of the items we got too i mean big big question here how do i not die in hot lighthouse in the first five minutes go like in complete cover and just hide there be my suggestion for the first five minutes. All right, so we got the relays are done. We still need two more power supply units, one more motor, one spark plug, and two metal spare parts. Need a Ledex for that. I think we have the items for this now. Yep. Oh, we need four hard drives. And we've got the items for this too. Oh, no, we don't actually. Let's start that up. And let's make some. Cool. And over the book. Decontamination's done. So, I think we still need one more RAM. Yep. We also need to do, do those chumming. We also need to put down one more gold chain. So, I'm just going to force this gold chain play right now by just taking one in. Do I do dailies? Yeah. I need to find today, I need to find faces. We're going to be going into streets, most likely for that. Uh, if I can get this gold chain down we just got to do a woods run and a customs run and then we get like a heap of new tasks do we have iron gate key i think we do no all right so we're going to place down the last gold chain and i think that if we can survive that will also be sales night complete we could try and go upstairs you know what i'm gonna leave this backpack because i'd rather just get the item upstairs gold chain down item upstairs extract that would be Inventory, sorry, uh, key to success done, 15K. Be sales not done, which is 17K. And we'd have that part of chumming done so we can go to customs and woods. So let's do that. I pwned. Thanks to the prompt. We and family had a great week here. We did, thank you. I actually went to the beach. I haven't been to the beach in ages.
That was just a scav. It's got PS ammo. Check this one, didn't I? Yeah. Chainlet. Cool. So, do I go and check Raz and that for a RAM, or do I just go to the computers? Raz is going to be, oh, maybe just Raz, not go upstairs. I don't know. That's the chumming part done. And let T. Yes, it's good. I'm grabbing CPU fans because I know I'm going to need them for the Bitcoin farm. How many more light bulbs was it? I know it was a couple. No way to pick it up. Ram. Ram. Pick up the ram. Doing all right. Doing all right. It's outside out the back.
Nope. Average man, thanks for three months. Uh, is Chris Chriso triple six. Thanks so much for the uh, two months. Aussie bloke, mate. Thanks for twenty seven months. I don't think I need three more before light bulbs. Maybe I should grab it anyway. Just to be safe. Make sure we definitely have enough. Anyone remember how many I needed? All right, that's the books done. I got the gold chain down for chumming and we got sales night done and I got the ram for um, the gunsmith task. We had a really rough start, but boy, did we get some progress just in the last hour, hour and a half. All right. Now, if we run into killer, it's okay. Dude. Damn, no fuss needed. It was just bam. Just like that. Stylish one, hey? Kill killer 50 times. Do that on hardcore. That'd be a challenge. Ooh, we got bags. We have bags. Alright. Alright, we need to do the ram. Where's that AK? Is it this one? Modding. Okay, what's left? Is it Gunsmith 7? FT Wiki Gunsmith 7. Gunsmith 8. RK-0. Does it have to be the 0? Can it be any of the RKs? Has to have an RK-0. Where do I get that from? I have the actual one, two IKS. It's just sitting on something. Two IKS, two IKS. Yeah. Uh, 
Gunsmith 8 done. 24 hour cooldown. <sighs> Alright, so the next quest to do is going to be woods, and we're going to do that, the quest, that one. Uh, frick. Junkie. So we've got junkie and chumming. How many gold chains do we, are we sitting on? Probably the easiest place to check here. We have seven. I think we just go up the mountain and we uh we have a look. See if we can find any up there. Is there anything else we should be doing for woods? Kill Sturman. It's junkies five kills. Oh, three markers. I swear there's a quest after Blood of War Part 3. Oh, you need it for Living Highs, not a crime part two. All right, five kills. We need, to, we need to get some food. We need to find some gold chains. Was there a daily I was, had for woods? No. There's so many food and drink spawns, I'll be able to get more uh, stuff to kill scabs. Take the cameras out. I'm not going to because I don't want to forget and I go into a streets raid and the door be open and I forget it. What do you think of the SKS's patch? There's a bar that gets you one with the best stock. Feels really easy to fire. The only downsides, I guess, is the weapon length and the semi-auto. The biggest issue about the SKS is if you don't kill someone in that one mag, it, like, the reload time is one of the slowest in the game. Do all your old gods still work on the maps? Or does everything change every wipe? It doesn't change every wipe, but they, they do need updating. And that's why I've, I'm starting to update them. So, definitely should be getting two guides a week from now. Last week, we had to work on the, the before death video. Um, so, it uh, got a little bit delayed. We only got one guide out, but from this week onwards, it should be two guides a week minimum. We're going to punch out all the map guides again, so they're all up, all updated. I've already filmed Factory. Um, we've got Streets and Ground Zero already out. I'd say I'll be working on the Scav guide as well this week. Hopefully, my editor might just get in, in the groove and just get like three or four out but in a week, but we'll have to see how we go. Yeah, so if you go exclamation mark new, I'm updating my new player playlist. So it will be the most up-to-date info in that one. It used to have like 20 guides in there, so it's only got three at the moment, but... Give it like two weeks or have like five to ten of brand new guides. Do a rogue killing guide. I, I did have one in that list, but it's a bit dated now. Give me one sec. Just trying to do something for Michael. All right, so gold chains for chumming. Look at that Sturman. Maybe not. Yeah, we'll do the marking first. Um, learn how to make money. If you learn how to make money, the biggest loss is the time. Find the value of items and how to like get a money run on, like so you know how to make money that way. I didn't bring a bag, did I? No. Yeah, Sturman is up. Okay. Mob Mark and then head over to Sturman. <clears throat> I've got a good gun for killing Sturman.
Possible to 20% now? Yeah. <laughs> Would you believe that I set a reminder on my phone to message Nikita every week asking him again for high possible chances? <laughs> I message him every week asking him to increase it. Five percent is actually a pretty big increase. Like it's one in five raids instead of one in seven to eight now. Like it adds up. And the good part about it is, like bosses like Killer and Sturman are a bit more annoying because there's like there's quests that ask you to like kill them a thousand times, but. We should check that key. Eh, it's a trash key. Still no scabs. To the four months man that man dre all right let's pop this now what i was beaming his chest and he just like stops and just takes one step to the side and then shoots me in the head. Fuck off. He's the only person I shot at too. Apparently he shot me in the back of the head. That was bullshit. Five hits. Nah, it was a, that, that guy shot me through the brain. That was the guy that killed me. He had a... I can't remember what they called it, like a Scar L, and he um, killed me in 556. Man. None of this helped for Junkie. I suppose I could pop an SJ6, that will help. Sorry, I thought I switched that. I used to find gold chains in here all the time. Our main objective is to get chumming done. Man, that was just sucky. Had a really good gun. I was going in geared. Now we're back onto no armor. Praying to the lords that we can have big success. And that's what makes me keep coming back to Tarkov, chat. For the person I asked before. You can have those high raids where you kill all the players and you get all that gear out and then you have that raid where you just get clapped hard. Makes you realize you're still human. I had BT and PP ammo in, so I must have just hit him square in the plate then. 
Like I, I was shot to center on the body. I need to aim a little tiny bit higher. Can you buy for traders on hardcore? Barter only. Need to get the sniper scav. Spark plug we need. Contacts? And three paints they are. An armor. So you can get gold chains here. They're pretty common. No way. It wasn't even overweight. FML. Can I even vault what's up while I'm like this? Someone's taking shots at the sniper scarf. I see a horse. Chain there. My horse is amazing. Mm -hmm. Shot Daddy, thanks for the five months. The Muffin Mon, thanks for the prom. I didn't just break one, I broke both my legs. He's dead. And the rare chance he has either a painkiller or... Come on, have a splint. Nope. Realistically, what's our choice here? We go down to the Cabin, place down one gold chain and just <laughs> keep going. Like, I can barely see. That's the like half the problem here.
I'm just going to get clapped from somewhere. I'm not going to med camp. Either the fob or the USAC med camp would be a very long walk. And if there's no splint, then we just wasted all that walk. Painkiller or splint? Big rig. He's going the distance. He's going for speed. <laughs> oh my god. So, um, what's everyone been up to lately? Icy Fades, thanks so much for the two months, dude. OG Mouse Knuckle, thanks for the uh, five months. Moving so fast that the sign to the screens are blurry. It's true. Weekly is to kill killer 20 times for a grenade case. What? Stuff that. Quick. They're coming.
Oh, an airdrop too. Hope it lands in the middle of the lumber mill. Does Moonshine work as a painkiller? Yes. <laughs> Most expensive paint killer. Really, 500 seconds. most expensive painkiller. Huge. Uh, huge. Alright, just need the one more. One more? What stash? You sex stash. Probably vend as well. I'm on stress resistance as well, which means I can um, kill scavs and get junkie done. Just gotta find more scavs. Well, we might be a little bit over overweight here. What do we get rid of? Kind of want to keep that. Let's see how we go. Scans that. Oh, just shoot at me. It was really close.
I don't want to black out the legs. So I've got to be careful here, but I also don't want to just walk along next to this guy, that guy. Sucks that there's no prediction on this raid. <laughs> Would have been a good one. Will Pestily make it out alive? <laughs> Broken both my legs one minute into the raid. No painkillers, no splints. Very quiet from a scav perspective. Like, there wasn't any scavs over there. Normally, you have a couple over here. I could try and get out this armor now. Just walk, you know. All being looted. Yeah, so much still decent. <clears throat> Might have seen the top of a scav run across there. It was really slow walking though. That might be a player scav. Running to the extract. I don't see the scav anywhere. One at the back there. Two. I think I killed him? Or he just went prone. Untapped. <clears throat> is it one left for Junkie, is it? Oh, that's annoying. We have to come back here anyway for... Um, chumming. Kinda looks like, oh no. No. We're so close. He's going the distance. <laughs> He's going for speed. He's all alone in his time of need.
Oh my god. I can't believe we survived that. <laughs> oh my god. Moonshine saving the day. Saving the day. Yeah, that was a that was a kill. All right, so we just need one more for, for uh, Junkie as well. Let's take a splint into our next raid. I think that might might be a good idea. We have guns, lots of guns. Suppose we take the cash for the car extract, eh? Hey? 